So our connected TV platform has uh, been around since CES 2009 when we first announced it. We came out with some of the major manufacturers in 2009. We've been continuing to expand the platform through 2010 up to 2011. Here we are. And we're now showing off the latest features of this platform. One of the exciting announcements that we made in the show is our broadcast interactivity feature that's part of our 2011 platform. What that feature is, is that it enables us to create interactive enhancements over broadcast programming. Some of the partners that we're working with with our broadcast interactivity feature are CBS, ABC, Home Shopping Network, and Showtime. And we're also, in the same way we're able to interactively enhance programming, we're able to interactively enhance advertising. And here at the show, we're working with Ford and Mattel and Microsoft in order to demonstrate this functionality. We've always been about the experience of taking a television and enhancing a television with the internet. So we see our experience very much one of adding incremental value to what broadcasters are doing today. And with our broadcast interactivity feature, we provide a capability that allows a broadcaster to increase the value of their content rather than decrease the value of their content. And this is very important to them. You know, in internet and business model where people are just arbitrarily accessing content and not driving value through that content isn't attractive to them. A model where they're able to use the power of the internet to enhance the capability of their programming is really something that they endear themselves to, and that's why we've been able to partner with them so successfully around this paradigm. So we don't actually uh, produce a box itself, right? We're, we're a software platform, and our software platform goes into devices of some of these manufacturers that we talked about before. So uh, that software platform allows us to create a ubiquitous software layer with a common interface that runs across all these different manufacturers. For, from a developer's standpoint, you're able to create an application once and run it across the TVs from all of these manufacturers and aggregate that footprint into a single uh, combined audience. And this is good for Yahoo as a, soft, as a developer of content as well. We have applications such as Yahoo Finance, Yahoo News, Yahoo Sports, Yahoo Weather, where we're able to develop our applications and able to utilize those onto, onto our own platform, as well as providing applications from third parties to do this as well. So some of the other ways that we're able to drive through and you know, enter this market is with the capabilities of this broadcast interactivity feature. Our ability to enhance the programming and enhance the advertising allows us to create the ability to create more internet values around those enhancements layers. Since those enhancement layers are delivered over the internet, they have all the internet capabilities associated with them, which allows targeting of advertising, it allows things like measurability of advertising, which has great value to people who are doing TV advertising today who don't really have those same sort of capabilities. So we still say we have an app platform and the apps are still out there and being delivered, but we're able to create this additional enhancement layer that is something different that's being offered in generally in this context. We're talking about ways to take the traditional broadcast program that continues to be delivered by the usual means, meaning through your cable provider or a satellite provider, or it could be delivered through the internet. Of course, we know that's possible as well. But we're able to create these enhancements regardless of how it's delivered, which is part of the benefit. The same would be true with the DVR. So we're, even if you DVR the content, you'd be able to interact with it later in the same way you can interact with it live. You might not be able to vote for something that was live voting, but you'd still be able to interact, see the poll results, and move forward from that. One of the things that we do with our platform is we take the TV and we make the TV, that big piece of glass on the wall that you have, we have that, turn that into a connected IP device. And it, by making it a connected IP device, we allow the cooperation with the other devices that you have in your home network already. And these, as you say, may be things like iPads, iPhones, Android phones, or any other sorts of other devices. And we're able to have the TV then start participating in that ecosystem. So since we're able to determine what you're watching on the TV, we could have experiences where the iPad and the television interact around the content that you're watching. And same thing with the phone. We could have the phone do things like control what you're watching on TV. Or if you want to bring up a specific application, you can browse for that application on the phone, pick it, and then have the application be displayed on your TV. Same thing with video. You could pick a video on your device and then display it onto the television. So this is also a capability of our platform. So to making the television part of this connected IP ecosystem. And we're really excited to be working with our partnerships around all our providers and uh, providing this sort of new capability to the industry. So look forward to it.